what's up everybody welcome back so today quick little tutorial video for you for those of you that dislike the windows 11 start menu like i do actually i have to admit i don't really dislike it i guess i'm just not used to it but i mean look at that it's i gotta give microsoft credit on this it actually looks very clean very efficient um, and i'm sure it is efficient but i'm i'm a creature of habit I kind of like the old style better that's just what i've been used to all these years and so i always like to change this back so i'm going to show you this little trick this is done by using a free little piece of software called open shell uh, open shell was actually previously called classic shell i think and it was pretty recently uh, that they switched to open shell i think they must have sold or something i'm not really sure the story behind that but uh it's a totally free utility there's no ads that come with it, no bloatware, you don't have to worry about spyware, viruses, malware, none of that stuff. It's completely free to use, um, easy configuration. Now some of you may have used this. If you had Windows 10 and you used OpenShell or Classic Shell, you know that once you actually install it, once, it's, once the install is complete, once you click start, well, your menu uh, settings pop up for open shell and then all you would have to do is click if you wanted like the Windows 7 look or Windows 10 look and you were in business it's a little bit trickier with Windows 11 go figure Microsoft has made it a little more difficult uh, but with this little trick we can make it work for you so the first thing that you will have to do one of the things that is required is the start button has to be moved over here to the left I do not believe it will work in the center I haven't tried but I think I read that somewhere we're not gonna try that today um, we're just gonna move it over to the left I did a previous video on showing you how to move this over to the left um, that should pop up up here about now um, so what we have to do I'll show you again just right click on the taskbar here and taskbar settings it should default you to the personalization tab over here. Um, from there, it's pretty easy. All you do is go down here to taskbar behaviors. Scroll down a little bit and taskbar alignment. It's currently set to center and you have to set it to left. And once you do that, you see that the taskbar, or I'm sorry, the start button goes over there. So we can go ahead and close that now. So open shell has actually already been installed on this system so i've put a link to the open shell software down in the description below it's a really quick download small little program um, so since it's already been installed this is about where you will start once you download this and get this installed and move your taskbar or your start button um, so you'll see again you install it you click it's not showing the old menus so what you have to do real simple just click here and it actually should be populated here but if not just type open show menu settings up here but you now have to just click open show menu settings and that brings up the configuration and the settings for open shell uh, like you saw would see in Windows 10 right after you install it and click start so you have a couple options here you got your Windows 7 style which I said like I prefer uh, your classic with two columns, I believe that is the Windows 10 style. And then you can go back even further. Dare I say Windows XP? I'm not sure. I never choose that. Um, so we're going to choose what menu we want. And that's not enough. Here is the trick. So choose which menu style you want. But then what you have to do is you have to click replace start button. And as you see, once we do that, it automatically shows the new start button down here and so now you'll see that once you uh, click OK um, you'll be back to the uh, menu settings and it will show on the style you want it however there is a, another little trick here that I want to show you while we have this open so a lot of people me included I don't like this start button it's just weird looking who wants a seashell like on their as their start button so here's what you do i'm going to provide this link down in the description as well um open shell actually has some public forums where you can go in where some people have actually created start buttons and most of them are actually really cool i downloaded the one that i like so i'm going to go ahead 
and I'll show you this trick too. This is what I chose to do. Um, I'm just going to choose custom and pick an image. Now the way I did this, um, I went to the program files and open shell where open shell is stored. I created another folder in here called start button. And then I went to the website that I provided down in the description for start buttons. And this is something that somebody else created, but I really like the look of it. Um, so I just put this file in here before I actually did this video. So that's why this is here. You will not see this. You will have to download it. But I recommend under program files and open shell creating a start button folder. Because if you just throw this on your desktop and then later you delete this, well, your start button has gone. And so I just put this in a secure place that I knew would not be deleted. So I'm going to choose that, hit open. And as you can see, it put that down as my start button. And that's the start button I like. I like the Windows 7 style. Now there are some other settings to open shell, but I'll let you go through those. A lot of bunch of different options there and it's actually pretty cool. So once you've got whatever window style you want and you've chosen your custom button, you can leave it on this one too if you like it or go to the classic classic. And once you hit okay, now once you do that, you come down here, hit start, you'll see that it's back to the old style. And actually click on all that. And I always like that you could do specific folders and put stuff in there and stuff like that. So that is pretty much how you do that. Um, so again, the links are down in the description. And that's really all there is to it. So again, if you don't like the Windows 11 look, or if you're on Windows 10 and don't like the Windows 10 start menu look, that is how you do that. Just a little application called Open Shell and you are good to go with a nice new start button that looks pretty good. Anyway guys, that's it. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. Consider subscribing if you wouldn't. I would appreciate it. Thank you and have a good day.